Welcome to Guns Up Review. Today, I'm feeling a little gassy. But lucky for you guys, that gas is only compressed air. Today, we're going to be shooting the old air cannon here. We're going to show you about, we're going to put all other potato guns to shame. We'll be right back. So this is what happens when you get a group of board engineers um, and a machine shop and a few spare parts together. You get something like this. So me and a few buddies of mine about uh, 20 years ago built this air cannon um, just for fun to go out to the sand dunes and see how far we could shoot a golf ball. And uh, it will shoot it about a mile, it'll shoot them a long way. So. Other things to fit down the barrel, obviously potatoes. It's a potato cannon of epic proportion. Fun fact, Kool-Aid, who titled this just for this purpose, apparently, uh, makes Kool-Aid bursts, which are about two and seven eighths inches in diameter, which is exactly the barrel diameter of this. We'll shoot some of these. These are pretty epic. It will make the, the bottle embedded into a brick wall where you can't, the bottle will be impregnated into the wall. But anyway, let's look at this cannon and see how this works. This cannon is, um, it's unique because most of these air cannons, these pneumatic cannons, uh, have a separate air reservoir, either off to the side or behind it, and so they're quite bulky. Whereas this one is one big barrel. Um, the, the air reservoir is the barrel itself. So um, there is a, an inner and an outer barrel. And I'll show you here just a second a diagram of how this works. It's about eight feet long. It's all the way out of the frame down here. But um, it's about eight feet long. It weighs 57 pounds. So it's, it's uh, not super portable. But I guess, you know, you could hold it Arnold style and shoot it if you wanted to. Um, it's quick actuated here. We've got a, a, a fill chamber here for a, a, just a quick connect air fitting to fill it. Um, once you fill it, you can disconnect your airline. And then um, you can hook up here a um, air blower with quarter inch little line on it, on this little press lock fitting. And then once you... Um, have air on that of course. Once you push the uh, blower valve there then this will rotate down, the, it, this extends, uh, opening a butterfly back here and the projectile is gone. So let me show you, let me show you how this works. Let me scoot this around a little bit. Let's scoot it over here. Uh, okay. All right. So here's our diagram of the world's greatest air cannon. So what you have here is a two pieces of PVC. You've got an outer and an inner barrel. This, the outer is the pressure chamber where the air um, is accumulated. So what you have is this, this inner barrel, of course, is PVC glued in down there. And then it is supported down here at this end with this spacer. I call it a spider but it's just a, a spacer ring that we machined that um, keeps the inner barrel concentric with the outer barrel. It is perforated so that air can go through it. Um, but what happens is, is you would fill back here. So you would put air into the system and there's a piston here, okay? Um, and what happens is, is the barrel, of course, inside the barrel, the air pressure is 14.7 PSI, just regular atmospheric pressure. But as I fill this behind the piston, it becomes 100 PSI or 125 PSI, uh, whatever you have your compressor set to. And so that differential pressure um, of 14.7 here and 100 back here keeps that piston um, pressed firmly forward against the end of the barrel. Of course, your projectile sits right in here. Um, and there is a silicon rubber seal on the face of that piston that seals uh, the, the piston against the, the barrel there. Now there is a gap here around the uh, edge of the piston so air is able to leak past it and so what happens if you let it set for you know for just a few seconds it normalizes where this is 100 psi and behind the piston is 100 psi. 
okay? Of course, back here in the back, what we have over there, you can see we have a butterfly valve back here. And again, once I activate that little gold cylinder over there with my air uh, uh, blower, this valve is going to open, dumping all the air behind the piston. When it does that, the air in front here is going to push the piston backwards, and its path of least resistance is out the barrel. And so this air here is going to rush down and then out the barrel, and off we go with our projectile. So the difference in this and like a regular potato gun, let's say I had a potato gun that um, used hairspray or starter fluid or something like that, Typically, those will generate about 30 PSI once it detonates, the, the hairspray or whatever detonates. However, this is going to put a full 100 PSI on the projectile. So this is going to be uh, a lot more powerful. It's going to shoot the projectile faster and farther um, if only we had a rifled barrel. So uh, anyway, let's go uh, out and we'll shoot this a few times and then we'll see... Uh, what kind of damage we can do. Here we go. All right, so we're about ready for a test fire. I had to make me up a little male-to-male -male adapter because this has a quick connect and so does my air hose. So I've got this as an intermediary. I think we'll start off by shooting a piece of potato. I've got a piece now. I'll have to use my ramrod to get it fully seated in the barrel and then uh, we'll see what's going to go. But it's important here to kind of put a little bit of pressure on it to get the... Um, piston forward so that my projectile doesn't go back and fall out the end of the barrel. All right, so hold on, here we go. Okay, here we go, we're gonna charge it up. They got the projectile is down the barrel. Charge it up. like 100 PSI there. You can hear the air compressor kicked on. So we'll wait a second and then uh, we'll fire it once the air compressor stops running. That will be at 100 PSI. I'm reading two, 230 on my gauge, but I believe the gauge started out at like about 130. So we should be at a full 100 PSI. So we're gonna disconnect, here we go. Step one. All right, step two. We're going to hook up to air here and then we're going to fire. All right, here we go. All right, this is quite loud. All right. Three, two, one. Just vapor us some potato. All right, let's see what it looks like. So that was quite an impact. As you see, it moved four cinder blocks. Those are the biggest parts of potatoes left, or those little pieces there. It went in a million pieces in all directions and basically just made the brick wet okay so just a little potato starch is all that's left yikes all right next we're going to shoot we're going to shoot a see if we can burst a kool-aid burst we're going to fire it into a uh, <laughs> a folding table it's got a three-quarter inch or maybe one inch thick um particle board top on it it's just kool-aid how bad can it be but i do have to tell y'all this is scarier than any gun that i own okay so this thing scares the crap out of me shooting it so here we go what we're going to do is uh i'm going to charge it the kool-aid burst fits down the barrel almost perfectly it doesn't need any uh kind of wadding around it and uh we'll see what happens when it hits the table so here we go i'm going to charge her up You can hear the piston slide forward in the barrel. I'm going to go ahead and put the projectile in before I put any pressure on so I don't have to be in front of it. Okay, so my ramrod is this long fiberglass pole here. I'm going to ease that down there. We're 
Okay, I felt it touch. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Scariest air cannon ever. We're going to shoot a Kool-Aid burst at the table. Here we go. I've got the other camera on slow-mo. Here we go. We're all charged up. Our trigger's hooked up. In three, two, one. Okay, so there you go. The world's scariest air cannon. I'm never gonna shoot that again unless I'm wearing full face motorcycle helmet. This is what happens to a Kool-Aid burst bottle going a couple hundred miles an hour after it hits a uh, particle board table. It didn't put a hole in our table, but it did make some Kool-Aid disappear. So hit me a line in the comment. Tell me what you think I should shoot out of my cannon We'll collect the best, the top uh, comments, and we'll shoot something else out of it in a later video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.